so this is a requested video and um, it's been requested by a few people but the lovely um, Angela has said she'd like to see the collection of fairies I've got. Now guys, these are not just Anne Stock, some of these are Nemesis, some of these are just random finds that I've picked up along the way. Um, so I thought let's let's do a, an enclosed detail. Now guys, I may struggle to remember all of the names for them so because <laughs> I do have a few so I will try my best to remember so let me just go to this here is just a chalice um I can't remember where I got this from oh there's my little piercing thing <laughs> I think I got this from Affleck's Palace guys I went shopping one of the days and I picked up this and a skull one my skull one is upstairs but I got um I got two so I think it's like um just a normal nemesis one I'm gonna put that up there right guys so this one here is summon the reaper I kind of love the thaw I know this is not a fairy guys but it is an Anne Stokes um don't this is quite sharp believe it or not um but yeah i've seen this um she wasn't one of my first or he wasn't one of my first let me see so as you know even though it's an Anne stokes it's still see if i can see let me just put you under the light guys so this was 2010 um it was made designed by Anne stokes but I can't remember when I actually got it. I think it was way, way after 2010. So this one is Summon the Reaper. This one here, let me just move her across. It's an actual picture of me and Benjamin. <laughs> um, this was picked up from Bottoms Mill. I can tell by the design. Um, my dad bought it me. And he actually put mine and Ben's picture in there. This is the day we got engaged. This was the day he asked me to marry him. Um, and we was in Kendall. So, yeah, this picture means a lot to me. And my dad put it in this frame. And I was like, that's super, super duper. So it was Nemesis now as well. At the back, guys, you can see Gothic Prayer. I have actually got it on... Um, just like a plaque kind of thing. I do actually want the ornament of Gothic Prayer. I will get it eventually. Um, I've just been bypassed by other things, to be honest with you, so I've not managed to, to grab it. Right, this one here is Dance With Death. Let me just pull it along. I absolutely love everything about this one, guys. She is elegant and beautiful. She's got her masquerade mask on. Look at the detail in the actual jewellery. I mean, he looks like he's like looking down at her, smiling, saying, <laughs> soon you will be mine. And I love the whole floor detail. Guys, I just... It's not just the pure um, vision of these that are aesthetically pleasing. I just love everything about it. They tell a story. Like, she's got an hourglass in her, in her hand. And it's like, this is how long you've got left before you become his kind of thing. Now, this one here, let me just put it to the back again. So, Nemesis now, I'll take it to the light again. Nemesis now, and then again... it. The date on it, they usually have a date on all of these. There's no date on that one. Um, but I, this and it, I think it was, I got it maybe about two years ago and it was a new edition when I got it then. So maybe about 2017. Let me put my chalice back in there. I'm going to take you down a step rather than going across, guys, because I don't have all Anstokes in my cabinet. Right, let me get my list. Let's get down. Right, so the next three down here. I've got to try and do this, guys, so you can see. Let me see if I can grab the light and, and bring it a bit closer, guys. It's... Right, there we go. That's better. Right, let's get down to the next three, guys. So, oh, I can tell you that this one at the back, which I have got everything, everything for it. This is the Winter Guardians. Um, it's not one of my favourites yet. It seems to have developed everything for it. Put the other big light on so we can see. So this one here, guys, is the Winter Guardians. Um, you could say it reminds you of um, Game of Thrones. So it is very, very heavy, guys, and I mean extremely heavy. You can tell that these are quality just by the weight of them. Um, again, Nemesis date two thousand and fifteen. So not bad, two thousand and fifteen. I love how they're all designed with jewelry as well. 
Um, I have the bedding in this, guys, the whole bedding set, the cushions in this, like the silk cushions. I have the lamp in this as well. I have the 3D picture in this. Yeah, it kind of went a bit ridiculous. I did have the purse in it as well, guys. But I do love the whole wolf thing. I would like a whole glass cabinet full of wolves. But like my... Um, my mum says, what is it like to want? Now this one, guys, at the back, I don't know if I can remember her name. Let me see if I can find her name. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Prayer for the Fallen, guys. So this is Prayer for the Fallen. Let me have a look at her. Um, I didn't find this one aesthetically as pleasing in the face um, because sometimes I find that they're really pretty in the face. Um, I don't know, she just looks... She just, well, she just looks sad, but I do love the detail in her dress, the rose to the front, the gown, the way the wings wrap around her. And then if you look at the back, her feet, this is a 2010 as well. Again, Nemesis. This little symbol here, guys, if you see this symbol, I don't know if you can see it slightly. It's like a, a round dragon kind of symbol. That is the Anstoke symbol, which tells you even though these are nemesis, they are designed by Ann Stokes. And what a wonderful designer she is, guys. Absolutely amazing. So that is that one, guys. Price-wise, if I can remember, oh, I don't like saying the price. This was something around 66, maybe. This one was probably around 58. This one was around 58, no, probably about 40 for this one. And this is a mortal flight. This was bought by my uncle and I cherish it so much because um, it needs cleaning, guys. I really do apologise. Let me just put it on the back there and just give it a wipe. Um, I don't clean as much as I used to with these. I used to religiously clean these once a week, guys, but because my back is so bad, I don't do it as much. But look how pretty she is. So she has a blue and purple design. I absolutely love a mortal flight. And then if you look, she's grabbing the skull into the water. You've got this butterfly like design on there with like the skull face. She's even got tattoos herself. Oh, she's absolutely beautiful. And here's the back. If you look at the back very, very closely, the wings are actually in the shape of a skull. Another reason why I was drawn to this. Again, her feet are at the back. There is the symbol, and it's 2011, and I think it was bought for me in 2011. So this was a new piece, and I, I think I got it the same week it came out. Um, and I think it was around £60 when it came out. Not that much in price now, guys. They do go down in price, to be honest with you. Um, I have got every single box of the Anne Stoke ones. They're the ones that didn't get damaged in the rubbish that we had. So yeah, that is them guys. And that's just the bottle at the back that my friend made for me. Um, It does light up actually guys, let me just show you. So it does light up, it's very, very pretty. Right, I'm taking you down a notch guys. Right, so this one in front, I do not know her name because she's not actually an Anne Stokes furry. Um, she's just a nemesis, yeah, so she's a nemesis now. I don't want to tip her down. Her wings actually come out at the back, guys, and you can adjust the wings to go up or further down. She just looks very, very sad. I don't know, I just related to this one. Let me just put it down here while I grab to these one. Right, guys, here we go. So, this one here is Lost Love. As you can see, she looks very, very sad and solemn. I love this one. My husband bought me this one. Um... I don't know, I love the detail in the wings for this. I love the cross that she's holding, her elegance, her sexiness, even though she's very, very sad at the present. And then this was a 2011 piece, but look at the detail in the wings and everything. I mean, she's even got bloody toe polish on. <laughs> amazing, amazing. So yeah, that is another one of my collection. This one at the back, Oh, it's so immaculate, this, guys. I really do look after my my um, fairies. They are everything to me, my and especially my Anne Stokes more than anything. This one here, um, let me see if I can find her. Await the Night, she's called. So obviously she's a vampiress. She sat on this coffin-like box. Very, very heavy, this, guys. Let's see if I can lift it. Ooh, so she's heavy, but look how beautiful she is. I love the whole black and red hair. 
She um, has the same hair, mind you, Lolly's hair is more red than black. But look, I mean, look, she's got this dragon design on her arm, like a tattoo. She's got sexy boots on. Very, very sexy. And on the box, it says, rest in peace. And it's like a tomb. Look at the detail, guys. Now, the beauty about this is it is a natural whole bloody trinket box. But as you can see, guys, I will not put anything in it because it's it's just too aesthetically beautiful to add things in it that may discolour it and stuff. Now, again, Nemesis and the date... It doesn't have the date on here, nor does it have the symbol on here, yet it is Anne Stokes. Let me just look around it. Now, it's just unusual, but that's the Awake to the Night. I think I paid, well, I didn't pay I My husband's bought a lot of these. I think I, he paid something around £50 for that one. This one, um, my mother-in-law and father-in-law, I think, bought me this one, which is Water Dragon. Is it Water Dragon? Let me double check now. Yeah, it is. Oh, I was making sure. Water dragon. Again, I need to clean. <laughs> I need to clean the water. The way they do this is amazing. It's very much like the Immortal Flight kind of design. It is amazing. It does look like water when the light hits it. Very, very beautiful. Again, it's quite heavy, but not as heavy as some. She's got this beautiful, like, pixie-like ears. And she's just staring into the eyes of the dragon, which is like adoring her. It's like mum. A bit like, um, what's she called? Oh, I hate that. Do you know you hate that when you go memory blank? What's she called? Danny, Danny, Danny. Yeah. We all know what we're talking about. Game of Thrones. Mother of Dragons. 2011, and it's got the Nemesis and Anne Stokes sign. And then the whole of the whole... I don't know if it's supposed to be like a window effect and then this is like just the... Oh, I just love it, guys. I absolutely love it. I don't know how much that cost because it was a gift. Um, but as you can see, I really do look after him. This was a gift of my mum when I was ill after my operation. And it says, get well soon, Rachel. Love you always, mum. I'm a bit of a... I like to keep things. I'm a bit of a trophy girl. Not trophy in, in like, oh, look what I've got. Because that's far from who I am. Um, more like... If anything ever happens to my mum, I've always got something to keep, if that makes sense. Now, down here is an absolute mismatch, guys. It's nothing to do with fairies, so I'll just talk you through the crap at the bottom. These are just things that my kids have got me. I know it seems like happy anniversary. This was me and Ben. I've had this for so long. He must have found this in the cupboard. It needs washing, actually. Um, that was my anniversary cup. I've got cups from my from my eldest daughter and my granddaughter. Um, I've got, like, this from Leah when she was a little girl. I love you, Mum. Love Leah. See, my kids did used to buy me presents. They just stopped. <laughs> I don't know why, but they just stopped buying me presents. Maybe I'm not worthy of it anymore. I had a plaque there. That's my best mummy as well. Um, and then I had a, a cup as well of Leah. Guys, I used to get really spoiled off my kids, believe it or not. This one says Super Mum. That was off Leah as well. Um, and then I've had little friendship things at the back. So that's that, guys. Let's take you out of there. I will clean this cabinet. Maybe next week I'll clean it. Oh, taking you back up, guys. It's going to be a long video, so I hope you're prepared. Here we've got um, Immortal... Immortal Flight, I was just going to say. No, not Immortal Flight, Rachel. You've already got Immortal Flight. I should know this. Mystic Aura... This is what I've got tattooed on my leg, guys. My brother tattooed this. He wasn't a, a fan of tattooing this because it's very colourful and he's a black and white tattoo artist. Although he does do colour, he just didn't like these colours. So she's got a lovely pentagram design, head like a um, head jewelry on. And then she's holding a crystal ball with a butterfly on, a rose in that hand. Her gown um, has her gown has actually influenced me to do something and I can't say much because it's a top secret and then her wings are not like skull or anything but again 2012 and she's got the nemesis design on there I bought this one I think I paid something like 52 pound this is my big dragon it's a nemesis dragon it was found in a charity shop for 9.99 so that was my bargain buy 
This at the back is a plaque that my friend made. Um, let's see if I can get to it. Um, she too is, she's into like Victoria Francis and Anne Stokes as well. Um, she does collect some statues and some things, but she made this for me and it's beautiful. So it says, special friend, today, today is the perfect time to stop and, and reminisce about the many hours we spent discussing that and this. The laugh, the smiles that we have known, the wonderful things we've done that made the friendship that we share a special one. It's a shame, guys, because we've kind of lost touch now. Um, she got me both these. I think because I've come off uh, my actual Facebook, we just don't speak anymore. But, um, yeah, never mind. I'll, um, I'll have to get in touch with her soon. And then I got this little trinket box. I got this free, guys, with this ornament here. And as you can see, I don't put anything in it. Now, this one here is probably the latest one that I've got. Um, let me see if I can find her name. Enchantment. So this is Enchantment. She's very, very pretty. I have this in a clock as well. I do have Mystic Aura in a clock as well. And I've got Immortal Flight because they were my favourite ones and Arachnopharia, which we'll get to. But again, she's holding this chalice and she's doing some kind of witchcrafty kind of thing. Her wings are beautiful. They're like glass, but they are actually hard plastic. Again, Nemesis now, it actually has a code for this because it's a limited edition. It's 0458. Um, and she's got the statue. And she's got an anklet on, which another thing that drew me to her. It's the fact she's wearing a bloody anklet, and I love it. So that was that, guys. Moving on to the next one. Now, I've got to try and remember all these now. Let me just move a couple of them out of the way so I can do... A few at a time right S let's grab this one this one is um spirit guide she's the white fairy so she's the pure fairy but look again at the detail she's actually wearing gloves and she's got the key she's very very pretty as well um and then you've got the wings at the back that flare up and then her gown kind of drags to the back nemesis and then at the side here is the little print and it's uh, 2015, I think. I can't really see. It's faded off a little bit. But she's so pretty. But because I got her, okay, I had to get the black version of it. And this one is Harbinger. So this is the Harbinger. She is the opposite. I love this one absolutely love it this one is probably my favorite in the two she just looks so mean and like i'm coming for you beautiful and again her gown goes to the back her wings are very very similar but just a white version or black version and then it's stamped here and i think on the other side is the unstuck symbol price wise guys i think they were around 35 to 40 pound each them ones i can't quite remember this one here is my Arachnopharia. Again, this is one of my favourites. She is so goddamn beautiful. Look at how she looks. Everything about her is aesthetically pleasing. Her, her flow of her dress, the gloves, the wings, the spider on the stand. And it's like she's on a plinth. And again, the symbol, it's 2010. And then it's got this name again, which seems to be on all of them. Is it Veronis? Um, yeah, she was about £35, if I can remember, guys. I do have a clock in her as well. Right, let's move to this one because I've had to move a couple out of the way. Now, this one here is called Soulmates. So this is her soulmate, which is her dragon. There is loads that I need to get to complete my set, guys. I've not quite got there yet. They're, they're very expensive. And once when I weren't working, I couldn't afford to just go out and buy them. But again, look at her gown, it's beautiful. And the dragon just wrapped round her. And she's pretty as well. Um, again, it has all the dragon at the back of the design. She's 2010. So she must have been very, very busy, Anne Stokes, when she was doing all these designs. That, I think, was £34. She was one of the cheaper ones. This one, oh, this one, guys, I, the story behind this one. So let me see if I can find her. This is the Angel Rose. Now, guys, this was discontinued. You cannot find this statue anywhere. It's so hard to find her. She's so freaking beautiful. 
Um, again, she's got a basque on, a lovely dress. Her feet, have you noticed a lot of them do have bare feet? I don't see any with shoes on whatsoever. They're all barefooted. And similar detail, there's the design on there. And it's 2010 again, Nemesis. And this is the Veronese design again. But guys, I couldn't find this anywhere. I literally had to order it. And I had to wait, I think it was about four months for it. I forgot all about it and it turned up and I was just over the moon. So yeah, right guys, no hand stocks on this one. This is just a quick one. Just my cup collection that I like to keep. This, you've seen all of them, so you don't need me to talk about them. But this is a Nemesis Fairy at the back. I dropped her when I was moving and I cracked her, her wing and it fell off. So it's been glued, but my husband's cockeyed and <laughs> it glued her, her wing on wrong. So unfortunately, she's been damaged a bit. She's got eggs at the bottom with baby dinosaurs, baby um, dragons, sorry, dinosaurs. Baby dragons just hatching. But she's blonde, so I don't know if I've got many blonde um Anne Stokes or Nemesis, but she's so pretty. She reminded me of, of one of my friends I used to be really good friends with called Kelly. And that's why I like that statue. This one at the back, guys, is just a mismatch. So let me just quickly talk you through these. The picture at the back is my family picture. It's my dad, me, my brother and my sister-in-law. And then that's me and my sister there. I haven't got a, a photo of me and Mel yet. It's something I need to do. Me, my mum and stepdad. And then these furries on the ball. I got these from um, eBay and I think I paid £5 each. These black and white furries is a set of three. Again, their wings come out. My mum bought me them. Bought me them probably about 14, 15 years ago, which is what started me collecting furries. At the back here is this little furry on the stand. She's so freaking beautiful. Um, my friends Tom and Julie back home and Odin, they bought me this and I've cherished it ever since. And it's actually on a stand. So she is actually balancing on a stand and I bought the stand to go with it, which I love. Then I've got the um, paperweights. I've got the Guardian of the Wolf. Um, and then I've got this one as well. I don't have neither of these statues, but as you can see, I do want them. And then this is just my daughter plaque. So that's that cabinet, guys. Um, I don't think I've got any more Anne Stokes now, but the next are just furry. So I will just run through this quickly, guys. Okay, so this is my fairy lamp. My um, in-laws bought it me. It was £58. It does work. I've just put it in here for now and took the plug off it so I can display it in here. Just because I have too many lamps in my house and I just wanted it to be displayed in here. Amongst these kind of fairies, because they all kind of match, um, this one at the back was the very first fairy my dad got to me when I, the first day I ever met him, he brought me that. Um, my mum got me this one. Um, my mum-in-law got me this one, which I absolutely love. These are all nemesis, by the way, guys, if you're wondering what they are. And then this one here um, is Nemesis. My mum bought me this one as well. She's super, super pretty. So you see, I've not really bought many fairies like myself. Um, this is Scarlet. I can't remember who bought me Scarlet. Um, maybe my husband bought it me. Yeah, I think my husband bought me Scarlet. These at the back are what my dad found. They were really reasonable. And I think I got them either for my birthday or Christmas. They were matching one. And then this one here, I think my husband bought me with the dragon. These are all Nemesis now as well, guys. Let me just grab her. Yeah, these are all Nemesis. Oh, my God. It was £30, this one, guys. I love the price on it. Um, and then this one my dad got me for my birthday. It's a Nemesis now as well. My dad goes to Bottoms Mill for my furries, which I've done a video on. This one, um, a Nemesis now, yeah. I can't remember who bought me that. I think it was my mum. And then I have this one here. My husband bought me this one. Nemesis now. So, guys, they are literally all Nemesis. And then here are these Nemesis at the back. There's two. There's a green one and a black one, and the wings come off, like I said. They need cleaning, guys, desperately. These these are a set that I got all together. Again, they are Nemesis. The things come off it, but they're all Nemesis, guys. This is a candle holder, this one, and this one's just this one. These two are not Nemesis. She's Nemesis, but these two are not. I just found them. Then at the bottom are all my glasses, guys. So I've got these glasses for my younger sister, Mel. I've got a mum glass, a daughter glass, a sister glass, yeah. So I've got lots of glasses. Um, this was off my 
my brother and my sister-in-law. It's actually a salt and pepper pot. It should be upstairs, but it's 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 for the kitchen table. And it's um I'll I'll Alatar gift wear this one. So yeah, I've got some of them as well. Last but not least, guys, because it's gonna be a long video. I've got my fairy world. Now guys, when I ordered this, it came and it was smashed to pieces and I was very upset, I cried. My husband sat there for three nights, gluing every little bit together. It's, as you can see, you can't see and he, he painted little bits of it so you can't see. But yeah, he got me this. Um, my mum got me these two here, which were from Ireland. I don't think they have a name. They're just Pukatar. Pukatar. But they're from Ireland, so these have come all the way from Cavern. From a, a little gothy shop in Cavern my mum found. This was off my in-law's um, best friend, Pam, Pat and Pete. It actually lights up. Can you see? And this is by um, Pukatar as well, which is the same brand as these fairies, believe it or not. Um, Leah bought me this little statue. It's a nemesis statue. She thought she was getting me a big one and this turned up and she was really upset. But I love it. Absolutely love it. And I've got my birthstone little angel there. Next one, guys, this is actually all for sale at the minute, but if we don't sell by the end of the week, I'm, I'm taking them back off and keeping them. So these are the tails of Avalon. I've got one, two, and three. And then I've got two, a picture that was made at the back, which says, fairies are welcome here, with the little door. My friend made that. Um, I actually bought it off her. And then she actually made me a fairies garden little glass thing that lights up. So yeah, I put all this shelf on sale for £50. If you're interested, come, uh, pop a comment on below. I will post it, it will be extra. Um, and then this shelf here, um, I used to go to Londodno and they had a gothic shop in Londodno. And let me just push the light here so you can see. And um, I grabbed a lot of these on sale, guys. So I grabbed this one here, which is so goddamn beautiful. She's a nemesis now. Um, as you can see, she's a beautiful fairy. She's got a black cat. She's got like the mystic ball, but she's very pretty and she's got blue hair. Um, stamped, no, because this is not, these are not like um, Anne Stokes. These are just nemesis now. Um, Again, this one Ben got me, it's a nemesis now again. Um, she's very, very pretty. Blonde again. Um, my friends at work, one of my old jobs, Advance, got me this as a leaving present when I left there to start my new job as um, an admin payroll. So, yeah. And then this one here, I liked her because she looked like me, moody. So, um, again, this is a nemesis now. I paid £18 for this one. It was on sale so I was really, really happy. I think I spent £100 and I got like six fairies. I was really, really chuffed. This one, again, is an emesis now. She's more like a twinkle picker fairy. This one, an ex-friend bought me, which is a unicorn and a fairy sat together. And this is actually icing. As you can see, her arms fell off and her clock and stuff, but my mother-in-law is going to fix her for me. But my mother-in-law made this with her very own hands. How good is she? At the bottom here, guys, is my husband's um, collection. He, he collects whiskies, and this is the Glendronic. I bought them all of these. That's the 15-year one, the 18-year one, and the 12-year one. And then I've got some, like, glasses and stuff in there. And then I've put this on for sale, guys, which is down here, um, which is Spellbound. I don't like her. I don't know why I bought her, but she's on, on sale, guys, if any of you are interested. Quickly, guys, this is my three-in-one. Um, as you can see, she is the Medusa, then she's the... And then she's that one. And then I've got an array of Anne Stoke clocks. As you can see, none of them are actually ticking because none of them have got batteries in. <laughs> I think it would drive me nuts if they were all tick-tocking at the same time. But that is it, guys. That is my fairies. Let me know what you think. Pop a comment on below. And I'll just show you quickly the cabinet. <sighs> so that's what my cabinet looks like in full, guys. Eventually, the bottom shelf, I will clear all that out and I will fill it with um, some Jack Skeleton ornaments that I want. And I probably will carry on my Anstalt legacy and get rid of the certain ones that I don't like. All right, guys, take care. Pop your comments on below. 
<sighs> and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>